Time. Those who knew the woman in South Omaha say she worried for her safety just one day before she went missing. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink spoke with neighbors and others. She's live with more tonight. Emily. Well, Craig, a best friend of Jesus Esmina Marinero says that her friend expressed concerns for months that somebody was following her and that somebody was out to get her. Her best friend says she even took it as far as alerting the police. Before they had a break in. And so that's what I thought they were there for. And I was like, they broke in again because they would keep kept coming to the house. A neighbor who did not wish to show his face says he thought police were called to the home Ishmaena was staying in early Wednesday morning because there had been another break in. But Ishmaena's sister Raina, who owns the home, confirmed she called police to file a missing persons report when her sister and her sister's two sons never returned home. Is uh, Jesus Ishmaena Marinero? Her husband came six o'clock in the morning, between around six. When her sister, and they looking for this mania. Teresa Rivera, who is best friends with Ishmina and takes care of five-year-old Josue and 11-month-old Angel during the week, says the last time she saw Ishmina and her two boys was on Tuesday. Ishmina had to express some concerns. She was telling me, I feel somebody's following me. Teresa says Ishmina's home near 18th and Martha kept getting burglarized. Then someone set it on fire. They uh, burned it up her house. She was working. When she came home, is gone. Fire reports show Ishmaena's home near 18th and Martha was intentionally set on fire at the end of April. Since then, she's been living at her sister Raina's home. On Wednesday around 4 a.m., Raina filed a missing persons report for Ishmaena. Last evening, 11-month-old Jose was found safe in a La Vista apartment dumpster. Police confirmed that a body discovered near 4th and Cedar last night is Ishmaena. Five-year-old Josue is still missing. I hope, I hope Josue stay alive. Teresa says she will do anything to find him. Me, I need this kid back. After the fire, Ishmina and her two boys had been living here with her sister Raina for a couple of weeks. Family members have been coming to the home to gather and grieve. Now, I talked to Raina a little bit earlier in the afternoon. She says all they could do now is hope and pray that Josue is alive. Reporting live in South Omaha, Emily Zink came to be Action 3 News.